Hello everyone and welcome back to the Wilhelm Starten. Tonight we are playing Insomniac Spider-Man. Once again, no, I will not refer to it as Marvel Spider-Man because aren't they fucking all? My help. Help. Better head head to to point point Hold on. Damn allergies. Ugh. I hate that. Okay. Units with right here needed to respond to a violent disturbance. Additional officers needed at Carnegie Hall. Shopping cart dents your car. You take it to the auto body shop, only that shop is a front for a drug lord called Tombstone, and he and Spider Man have decided to have a power struggle at that precise moment. Sir, tell us the rest. I, I start to go in and I see Spider Man fighting this massive guy with fangs like a shark. That would be one Lonnie Lincoln, aka Tombstone. Did it seem they were fighting over drug profits or merchandise? I understand there's talk of a new drug that turns its users into zombies. I don't know what it was about. I got my ass out of there. Sir, I understand you've been through a lot, but please refrain from using that kind of language. This is a family show. Huh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm glad I split, because pretty soon, the cops and firefighters are there. Ah, the real heroes. What a relief. I think we can all use a happy ending. I thought this was a family show. Jared, get rid of him! <laughs> Happy ending. Wow. Uh... 1043, fugitives have seized a civilian bus. Location is going to be a mile over. Eh, might as well. Okay. Hostage situation. Okay. Always tricky. Gotta make sure no one gets hurt. You gotta be kidding me. Throw arrow. Mm. Hey, does this bus go by the Statue of Liberty? Do shit. Come on. Come on! Oh, come on! And now to get 20 aerial hits in, if there are even enough of them left. Damn. Damn. Nope. No good. 
city's turning into a playground for crazy people. Oh well. Even more than it usually is, I mean. Okay. And charge it up. Boo! Point launch. Ground team, need a status update from Lennox Hill. Excuse me. Ha. Huh. Really? Ha. Huh. Yeah. Point launch. Whoop. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, Empire State. Is that the Empire State building? I forget. It certainly looks about the right shape. Whoop. Shit. Hmm. Also. Suits. Oh, there's no one available. Oh, that's cool. Spirit Spider. Um, no. Suit power, let's... Yeah, battle focus. Just in case. Whoop. Wait. Oh! Pigeon. Okay, let me... Yeah, it'll be fine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Got it. Damn bird. Oh, shit. Shit. Ah. Shit. I am right at my destination, too. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, Captain, got eyes on. Fill me in. Line is assaulting the Upper West Precinct. Electro's at the Upper East. We need you to turn the tide. Head to either. They're both equally screwed. Boy. Oh, jeez. So. Fast travel's locked because, of course, it is. Hmm. Get me the best. Really? Peter, are you available? We need help at Feast Sister side of town. The oh, veteran shit. center in Harlem. What's wrong? Men from Rikers are demanding food and supplies. Ah, the crap. staff are barricaded inside, but they need help. Miles and I are headed there to evacuate the staff. Don't do anything until I get there, man. I'll meet you in Harlem. He sounds exhausted. I hope she isn't sick. We need to help Yuri, then get to Harlem. Shit. Yuri, I'm nearing the Upper East Precinct. Good. Electro and the Demons are boxing my men in. The setup is complicated. You'll understand when you get there. Yuri wants an outman, Master of Suspense.
Really? Oh, come on. Now they seem to have it under control. Those inmates will burn the whole block down. Nah, they got it covered. Besides, if the, if the precinct goes out, that's it for all of them. Damn, Electro. Oh boy. Yeesh. This isn't good. Transformers are charging the building, trapping the police inside. Oh, that's not good. Yuri, complicated was an understatement. I'm gonna have to disable these transformers to free your men. Even if you manage that, they'll still need your help with the demon. That's why I'm Ow. here, ready to serve all your electricity Oof. and demon related needs. Wait, what's this? Something about VOD storage changing? Whoa. Stream manager. Four more of these suckers. Time to even get that thing up. Two down, three to go. Man, I did not miss dealing with Electro's elaborate supervillain antics while he was in the raft. Trapping the police with a network of energy transformers? Who does that? Great. Yeah. Two left. No, I'm not. There it is. Only one more. It's around here somewhere. Down there. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Police are free, but demons aren't backing down. Yeah, lend a hand. Huh. Ooh, this guy. Mother fuck. I can't even deal with this guy. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, how do I even deal with the them? Jesus. Come on. Boom! Fuck you! Hey, Builder! What'd you have for dinner? Hot dogs, nice. Um, just plain or chili dogs, what? Yuri, your 
men are safe. What's next? Get to the Upper West Side. We're trying to shelter civilians, but Rhino isn't making... Like, what kind of toppings? Oh, ketchup, mustard, and onions. Oh, huh, nice. Classic. He never does. On my way. Miles left a voicemail. Oh, hey. Hey, Pete. Hey, Pete wanted me to call you. Things in the veteran center are not good. Convicts are trying to break down the doors. Mary Jane's here, but we're getting people out of the basement. We need more help. I hope you can get here soon. I need to finish with the precincts fast and get to Harlem. Yes, I am dealing with the Sinister Six. Uh, just dealt with uh, the shit that Electro was doing at one police precinct. Now I'm heading to another to deal with the mess Rhino has made. And after that, I have to get to Harlem to deal with the uh, Feast Veteran Center. And honestly, for, uh, for simplicity's sake, hold on, let me just get stream manager going again. Any available units? All there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, the cat got stuck in blanket. Nice counter, dude. <laughs> Too bad it don't amount to shit. Someone's got some whips, oh boy. Oh, got hit. Come on, trying to, oh, that hurt. Yeah, I can't do an aerial on that. Okay. Boom. Oh, also, obligatory reminder that he's always holding back against normal human thugs. Every single one of these punches and kicks, if he was actually trying to, he could easily kill them. Even the beefcakes. Those bulkier thugs? Yeah. Bye. For you, you got 
Come on. Boom. Eat shit. Okay, definitely gonna need a grenade for this one. Shit. Oh, come on, didn't mean to use that. Oh, hi. Riker's SKBs are down. Need to deal with stable flying monkeys now. Yuri, this is secure. And I just found out what it means to be Sable's priority target. <laughs> Not fun. That'll teach you to piss off international mercenaries. Guess so. Okay, I need to sign off for a bit. Call me if things go south. Will do. And thanks. You've given us a fighting chance. Okay. Need to hustle the feast sister site in Harlem and help Mance. Peter! Thank God! We need you at the Veterans Center. Where are you? I got held up. Are you okay? What's happening? The convict started a fire. We got the building staff out, but May and Miles are trapped inside. I'm trying to find a way into them, but the fire's spreading so fast. Stay where you are, MJ. I'll handle this. Damn it. Move it, Pete. Move! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Did I seriously just... Oh, motherfucker. Oh, that's not good. Really? Oh, shit. Come on. Ow! Shit, motherfucker. Oh, come on! Not good. Not good. Uh, different how are you talking about in uh, the moonflower palace yeah I I think I did notice that although I don't remember how exactly have to rescue you too Peter, don't be crazy. Wait for help. <laughs> May. May. <laughs> Hang on! Oh. Hey man, you all right? Get to the window! <coughs> it's too far! Oh, hold on! Just brace yourselves! <coughs> Come on, you stupid piece of... Ha! <laughs> nice save! <laughs> First you get to say that you decked Spider-Man. <laughs> and now you get to say that you saved his life. Nice.
Yeah, you mentioned the prologue builder. Are you talking about the, uh, are you talking about, uh, with Monica? Gentle cat, don't bite me so hard. Is my okay? Everyone is safe. Andre, if it weren't for you and Miles, I would have been. As dead as I would have been the last eight and a half thousand times you saved me. Pretty sure I still owe you a few. Huh. <laughs> oh, that's smart. <laughs> it hurts to laugh. Okay. I'm sorry I screwed things up. It's just hard being the one who always gets saved, you know? Sometimes I want to do the saving. Hmm. I'm sorry I made you feel like you couldn't. It's the part hmm. Always. Hey, uh, so I didn't know if, uh, you wanted sparkling or, or flat or spring or mountain spring. So I got one of each. Am I interrupting? No. Um, MJ, Ms. Watson, and I were just talking strategy. Strategy? That's right. The city is in danger. It needs our help. Uh, it's, oh. It did it again. All right, well, call the play, coach. Okay. Divide and conquer. Ms. Watson, we need an anti serum for Devil's Breath. Oscorp's developing something, but there's no way they can keep it safe from Octavius and me. We need to find the cure and protect it. I'll chase down some leads. Miles, you need to be my eyes and ears at least. Anything goes wrong, call me. Okay, Builder, so about that fic. Um, how, how do you deal... Uh, how exactly do you deal with, uh, the, with ideas like, say, radiation poisoning? And, uh, ow, gentle. And is it just, is it just Team Ruby or, you know, much like your Oblivion fic, or does it uh, also pull in others this time? Just Team Ruby. Yeah, I, I would say this much. For, for any others, uh, maybe keep an open mind about how uh, other characters might fit in uh, such a scenario, you know? Keep your options open. <sighs> and, um, as I think we've established, right between volumes two and three is generally the most ideal point to pull them from since, well, that's where a lot of your uh, spin -off and su your spinoffs and such draw from. That's also the exact point uh, they were pulled from in uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. So, okay, that makes sense actually, since their aura w their auras would essentially be too busy fighting back the radiation. So you no. Know, so, are we talking that it just takes out their aura, or it just keeps them occupied? So that, uh, until they're out of their, like, until they're to relative safety, they can't use their semblances and such. Like, essentially a, essentially serving as a geographically locked nerf. In other words, like certain certain locations, they can't use their semblances, but elsewhere they might be able to. Is is that where, is that where you're going, or it's, uh, the people they're safe? Got it. What are you going to do? Yeah. Okay. Jobs is taking the city apart piece by piece. Time I return the favor. Honestly, that that fits because, quite frankly in a setting like that, they would otherwise be pretty OP. So, yeah. And it also would make uh, Super Mutants a, a meaty challenge. Wait, um... How do I call you? I mean, you, you have like a cell phone in your, in your pockets or something? Ms. Watson can give you my number. 
Good luck to you. Okay, so on that note, that implies that his phone has a dual SIM. One specifically for, you know, patrol, and uh, the other being, uh, you know, <laughs> for his personal life and work. Which is actually pretty, uh, pretty clever, and I would imagine he also pays for the patrol uh, for the patrol card uh, using cash. Certainly make the most sense. A lot harder to trace. But uh, let's be honest: the the feds probably know who he is. You have his number. There's Spider-Man's girlfriend. That'd be so cool. <sighs> Come on, Sherlock. Show me what you got in this water mortgage board. Uh. Right, right, right. That said, does Ruby gush over any of the crazy weapons they have there, including the power armor? Because if you don't have her gushing over the weapons, you've got a characterization problem, okay? Just, just so we're clear. City feels a little more under control. Miles is watching Feast. MJ is trying good, to good, good, good. Time for me to focus on finding Otto, stopping whatever he has planned. Yuri, we need to start tracking the big boys. Still no leads on Octavius. No, nothing. Forensics can't even do a sweep of Times Square. Everyone in that department but the intern is sick. Huh? I might be able to turn something up. Let you know what I find. And uh, I forget, you said that it's specifically set right around uh, the events of Fallout 4. So I would imagine there are some interesting character interactions. Honestly, I should probably uh, have a designated day for... Oh! Right. Thanks, creepy stalker guy. Yeah. Keep leaving me tasks? That's kinda on the nose. There's a group of mercenaries committing crimes across the city. These mercenaries wouldn't happen to be your mercenaries, would they? No. All I know is they're getting paid well for their work. Unless you stop them, that is. What's in it for you? I get to watch and learn. Huh. Oh, absolutely, because Yang's a brawler. That'd actually be a great fit for her. The, no cat. God dang it, she knocked the power bank out of my phone. Crazy cat. Ugh, knucklehead. But, uh, yeah, I'm thinking I should probably have a, a dedicated stream just for, for chat. Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe Saturdays. That, that actually... That uh, fit quite well, actually. As long as you don't mind me just having the music from uh, Toe Jam and Earl just playing in the background, I can actually use the Sega Genesis Collection as the as as the title for it. You know, because broadcast feature options limited. Spider-Man. Of course. Thought you might need one, officer. Oh, it may—it would—it makes absolute sense that uh, Blake would side with the railroad. You know, all things considered, because well, faunus and a history of uh, subjugation. Okay, now Weiss, I would imagine that she would be. Uh, uh, that she would have a bit of a conflict of interest if she's going with the Brotherhood. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I would imagine a whole lot of interpersonal drama resulting from that. Because quite frankly, you know, the Brotherhood is pretty much natural enemies of the Railroad, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, Nia, don't. No cat. 
And the thing is that by the end of uh, and uh, by the end of volume two, she and Blake have come to a a rather good understanding about you know the faunus, the white fang, and the SDC. In fact, uh, I think one of the biggest missed opportunities of uh, Volume 8 was that we never got to see Jacques put on trial for all of the, quite frankly, war crimes he had been committing or having ordered, for that matter. Like, he... He made... Adam what he is. And so you don't know the half of it. Never seen anything like this devil's breath stuff. Forensics is having a hell of a time. News reports say this is where Otto released Devil's Breath. Might have left some residue I can track. Get down, cat. Get down. Don't mess with the keyboard. Lie down, cat. Yeah. Ow! Ow! Gentle! Jeez. Crazy cat. Let's see here. Oof. Jeez. Huh. Oh? Some residue on this sign. Maybe I can isolate it. <laughs> of course. AT rich leader sequence. Spectrograph. This looks promising. Oh, I hate these. Nope. Mm -mm. <sighs> Process elimination, I guess. Except... The most likely? I mean, you could certainly write a scenario where uh, uh, Yang starts juicing, and, you know, if you're looking to create some melodrama between her and Ruby. Or, for that matter, uh, without her aura, Weiss isn't nearly as able to fight. So, uh, like, a... a great deal of Weiss's fighting style is completely based around her aura, so I could see her using chems to compensate and it causing trouble, especially especially if um, you use that to uh, reference in some way her mother Willow's drinking problem, like actually make it a, make a whole character arc out of that Anyway, let's see here. Oh god, this one's a pain in the ass. I There, finally got it. Ugh, finally got it. Oscorp's modified CPF one. Definitely devil's breath. Oh boy. Should be able to track the dispersal path. Uh the Atom Cats. Uh no. No, I do not remember them. Then again, I haven't played too far into Fallout 4 yet, so. The trail goes in a few directions. Need to find the right one. Hmm. Let's see, which one leads up to the... Yeah, start here, I guess. Where the hell was Spider-Man during the prison break? How do you need? They were a minor faction, they're basically greaser bike gang. Ah, well then. Trail's gone cold. Nope. 
Which means that must have been, uh, huh. Nice. But uh, what the? Yep, there it is. Vapor trail heads up that building. Yep, here we go. Yep, uh, absolutely. Yang definitely seems like the type. Given her vague rebel vibe. Here it goes. Trail leads down into those vents. What was Otto doing up here? There should be a door or an access hatch around here. Here it goes. <sighs> well, this is moody. Mm hmm. Indeed. be some way to hit the lights. Let there be light. Oh. Was Otto using this as a staging ground? The chaos of the prison break would have been perfect cover to move in. Yep. Martin Lee. I can't believe this is the same man I knew at feast. Seems like Otto and Lee have more of a history than I thought. How long have they known each other? It says, thank you, uh, uh, it says, Dr. Octavius, thank you for the medication. It's helped some, uh, but the episodes continue to grow stronger. Things haven't been this bad since I was a child. I feel like I'm barely in control. Yesterday, during Osborne's address, I came close to blacking out. Seeing him triggers feelings I had thought long buried. I'm not sure how much longer I can live in this shadow, in his shadow like this. Martin Lee. And there's this. Looks like Otto recorded messages for his crew. Considering everything that Osborne had done without consequence up to that point. Yeah. That's usually how it is with some of these supervillain stories. Genuinely cheated. And the system can't do jack shit to help them. Or won't. Yeesh. Typical, you know, typical backdrop for a supervillain backstory. Otto's rage is driving him. Interface is exacerbating it, but his hate is genuine. He'll destroy the whole city to hurt Norman. Here it says, Oh, huh. Interesting. Are those some sort of access codes? Yeesh. Oh, crap. But it doesn't look like there are any recordings to check. Jeez, Looks like Otto's been studying Sable's tech for weaknesses. Hmm. Oh, wow. Here we go.
that keeps his booty pressed against my neck. Why can't anyone else see how selfish he is? How reckless? How evil? If only we can be made to see the Norman I know. Yep. The man behind the mask. Like I said, cheated by the system. Like that's part of what makes uh, that's part of what makes a well-written villain so, or at least what makes a tragic villain so compelling. If the right people had made the right choices, but to a serious degree. Oh wow! Good old Rhino, my second favorite Russian. But not to a serious degree. Okay. Developed a corrosive to free Rhino from his suit. Certain government agencies spent years trying and failing to do that. It only took Otto a few days. Jeez. And no doubt gave him a suit that that can be removed much more easily. At least removed by the wearer. But that also means that it can be removed by an opponent. Crazy. I'll say this much, Jason Spizak did a great job with that role. I hope I'm pronouncing his last name right. Oh, yeah, jeez. Oh, so possibly using it to get back home. Wow. Oh, and we got some... Oh, oh there's a... Scorpion's helping Otto in exchange for a clean slate. Criminal record expunged. Gambling debts erased. Oh, jeez. Ah. And, uh, I forget, is this, uh, is this happening adjacent to, uh, the player character's actions in the story? Because you could actually pepper... If so, you could pepper in, like, little news details, gossip and such, as to what... As to what, you know, they've... As to what they've been up to with Team Ruby having to deal with some of the potential consequences of that in the background. Well, I mean, they're in the foreground, I mean, but... You know what I mean. Again, to quote my Marine mother... Hear what I mean and not what I say. Old man vulture. I've tangled with him more than anyone else here. Yeah, in this continuity, I think he was one of the first that he dealt with. Right, Nate. Like that, To be fair, that is the default name. So, Well, the default for the male uh, protagonist. You know, female, you know, the missus would be Nora. <laughs> That'd get confusing, so... Well, you know, the head of the Institute is, well, of course, Sean. 
I mean, let's be honest, Fallout 4 has been out long enough that any spoilers... Like, uh, sorry, but I'm one of those people that I believe there is a that there is a deadline after which spoilers are excusable, and I think Fallout 4 has passed that deadline. Power source for Vulture's wings gave him spinal cancer, and Otto's developing an experimental treatment to save him. Wow. Also, don't forget, if, if for any reason uh, Automod blocks one of your uh, comments, just let me know and I'll, I'll go over it, as always. Is there anything else here to look at? I can't see what it says. Yeah, I can't see what it says. That's a shame. Wait, actually. Yeah, no, I can't see it at that distance. Electro. Total live wire, that one. Oh. Electro's big pipe dream is to become pure energy. Doc actually managed to modify his harness to get a little closer to that goal. Yep. Oh, also, previously, you had, uh, uh the topic had come up about, uh, Shocker, and, uh, yeah, I had completely forgotten that he was played by Bokeem Woodbine. I also, I, for whatever reason, probably the name, Shocker, I get him and Electro mixed up all the time, and it's really annoying, especially considering I've been a Spidey fan most of my freaking life. You'd think by now, my brain wouldn't cross those two wires, but... <laughs> Oh, jeez, that's... Well, that sucks. They become enemies? Jeez. That's a shame. Max, when you first conveyed your dream to me, I thought you were insane. Pure energy. <laughs> <laughs> but as I dove deeper into the problem, I discovered a way to give us both what we desire. I promise you, when we are done, you will be pure energy. Or so close to it as to make the difference irrelevant. Hmm. Jeez. Holy shit. Excuse me. Oof. What's this now? UV bulb. Huh, nothing happened. Otto must have used this map to plan. It's blank. Unless there's something here I'm missing. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, it needs to be... Needs must to be. be a way to get that lamp on. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Hidden markings. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, oh, wow. Huh. 
Otto's tasked the villains to destroy Oscorp holdings throughout the city. He's trying to take apart Norman's empire piece by piece. Oh, jeez. Lee's going after the Devil's Breath anti serum. Using oh, something no. called Icarus? Oh, no. What's Vulture doing in Times Square? I need to keep my guard up. Electro's disabling Oscorp power plants. Makes sense. Rhino's targeting Oscorp shoreline properties. Which is he hitting first? And why? Scorpion must be trying to poison the city's reservoir. Another Oscorp owned property. Jeez. Seems like the last stage of the plan is a direct assault on Oscorp. And most likely, Norman. Essentially, they plan to ruin his life first and take his life second. Yeesh. Oh shit. Well then. Icarus, this is it. This feels like a trap. Hello, Spider Man. We've never been properly introduced. I'm Otto Octavius. There is no Icarus, is there? No. Martin needs no assistance to secure the anti serum. Icarus was a ruse to get you into position. Into position? <gasps> okay, how the hell did he man uh, how the hell did that manage to bypass his spider sense? Seriously. You should have been on your guard. Jeez. Insect. Think you're getting your arthropods mixed up. Dementia must be kicking in early. Damn, missed.
A little bit. Need to get him to drop his guard first. Damn. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Too far away. Oh, I'm okay. Oh, wow. Ow. Whoa. Boom. Ow. Boom. So you say as I keep stomping your asses. Again, hate to be the pessimist, but I don't think you guys are accepting this situation accurately. No shit. One down, one to go. Ooh yeah. Got him. What's happening? Electro's been grounded. Spider-Man, I presume. If you really cared about this city, you'd be helping me expose Osborn for the criminal he is. By killing innocent people? I would have restored the power. You're sick. You need help. I have all the help I need. And we will not stop until Norman gets what he deserves. Okay, technically he just destroyed evidence. So that's no good. Jeez. Okay, out of everyone, uh, who's the most demolition expert? That's actually a good question. Um, I think that Weiss might have a little bit of expertise in regards to the actual, uh, you know, chemical side of things, simply because you know, dust. 
but uh, in terms of the actual application, hmm. Honestly, I think it's a it's a, a categorical balance between uh, uh, Yang, Blake, and Weiss. Because, you know, as, as a former member of the White Fang, Blake has a lot of experience in uh, you know, industrial espionage, or sorry, yeah, sorry uh, industrial sabotage and guerrilla warfare. Oh. Ooh, boy. Honestly? Ruby. Never mind the demolition side of things, but actually, uh, you know, situational awareness and aiming. Because, well, you gotta remember that Crescent Rose is partly a sniper rifle, which means that you have to not only lead the target, you also have to factor in, you know, wind direction and a whole lot of other factors. So, keeping an eye on the battlefield and knowing... Uh, the optimal uh the optimal uh shot placement definitely seems like that'd be more her thing that said she'd also have to bear in mind you know the splash zone which means she'd probably be experimenting with it a little bit so um yeah Uh-oh. Need to update Yuri. Yuri, Vulture and Electro are down. Four to go. I saw. Also noticed a rooftop in Times Square exploded. Wouldn't happen to be related, would it? Nothing gets by you. It was Octavius' staging ground. He's using the villains to pull apart Oscorp. Vulture and Electro were targeting power plants. Scorpion's going after water treatment. Not sure about Rhino yet. Something along the shoreline. That's good enough to start. I assume you're going after Scorpion? Yeah. The city's already on the brink. If we lose clean water, we might never come back. I'll update you when I make progress. Sounds like a plan. And I feel I must reiterate how absolutely awesome it is. The, uh... Extent like the, the, the miles. Hey, Pete, you okay? That's what I was gonna ask you. I'm fine. But you and May are in the middle. We're busy, but people need help. And I'd rather be doing something than waiting around for somebody else to fix things, you know? Yeah, I heard that. Just make sure you protect yourself. Mask and gloves. And rest every now and then. All that goes double for me. <sighs> Nobody can make that woman take a break when she doesn't want to. But I'll do my best. Thanks, Miles. Give me my love, and be safe. There's the reservoir. No sign of Scorpion. Better take a closer look. But yeah, they... Insomniac went to a lot of uh, trouble to make a near-perfect uh, recreation of Manhattan. Obviously, some creative license, both in dealing with, uh, well, licensing... For example, they couldn't get the they couldn't get the Wall Street bull, so they put uh, what's his name that that one alien that basically looks like a, a big bulldog with a tuning fork on his head. Anyway, but yeah, and also they have the Avengers Tower, you know, stuff like that because Marvel. Well, if I was a mercenary dressed like a scorpion, where would I be? <laughs> Me, I'd end it now. But Octavius is paying, and he wants to torture you, which I respect. Damn it! What did he inject me with? That's actually okay, Builder. That is actually a good question. Is she strong enough? Yeah. Huh. Well, you've also got to, uh, you've also got to realize that she can rapid fire a sniper rifle, which requires a great deal of uh, upper body strength and lower body strength to to deal with the 
uh, to deal with the kick that that has. You gotta realize, with the muzzle velocity of a sniper rifle, it, like, if we assume to some reasonable extent that the muzzle velocity is similar to uh, its real-life counterpart, yeah, that's gonna have quite the kick. And that's not a matter of her aura tanking it. That is a matter of her actually not losing her footing. So I think she would be strong enough to use <laughs> to use that, to use <laughs> any sort of nuke launcher. Although it would also be interesting to see her use uh that junk launcher. <laughs> Uh, those are fun. Just, just throw a baseball in there, a bowling ball, nails, just, just perfect. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Like few things are funnier than, uh, than beaning some poor scrub with a bowling ball. Well, yeah. Again, it makes sense because, like I said. Crescent Rose. Oh boy, there's this. Whoa. What the? Is that a sea of poison? Can't be. This can't be real. Must be the poison. But I can't take any chances. Gotta get to higher ground and analyze whatever he injected me with. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Talk about a bad trip, am I right? Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, exactly. He sounds like shit. Jesus. Hmm. Oh, jeez. A baseball grenade. Oh, that just sounds... Oh, jeez. That just sounds so extra. I love it. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, that's great. There we go. Okay, so what is this compound? Oh, it's My brain will create nightmares that my body thinks are real. Yeesh. Ovatoxin, a biocystin mixture. Jeez. I create the antidote fast. First, I need a natural steroid. Extract from an Eclipta Alba plant should do the trick. ESU's greenhouse is nearby. Hope it's in season. Oh shit, there we go. There's the 
greenhouse! It's with the Alba. It should be inside the greenhouse. Shit, here we go. Where'd it go? Oh no. Oh boy. In my mind. It can be both. Duck? It's just the hallucinations intensify. You can get through this. Doc? You sound like I did before the neural interface affected my mind. My obsessions were always there. But the interface allowed me to fully embrace them. I have to fix this. Fix you! Somehow! Ah, uh, Peter. Always trying to shoulder the responsibility. Even when there's no hope. I can't tell you how many times unfettered optimism has kept me going when things look bleak. I'll miss being with you. I really will. I'm sorry. Yes, yes, you're sorry. And yet, you let it happen. Makes one wonder where your priorities lie. I mean, if I was really that important to you, why would you let me destroy myself? I can help you. It's the neural web. It's affecting your mind. You mean the neural web you helped create? The hard truth is, you did this to me. Without your help, I would have never done any of those terrible things. And there it is, his own conscience screwing with him. His own insecurities, jeez. Just seen what was happening to you. Never left you alone with those arms. Good luck. I wish I could offer you more help. Stay strong, Peter. Oh, jeez. I did not notice that before. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's the way out of here. I'm just going to take a quick moment to dawdle and appreciate the uh, scenery design because, whoo boy. That is a doozy. You've obviously got the floating land masses. Yeah, I can absolutely see either of them rocking a tool belt for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's that's about the vibe. Yes, builder, that is exactly the vibe I'm thinking. Damn. It's probably about to hop up there. Actually. Holy crap. Yeah, as far as I remember, uh, right, as far as I remember, uh, with her, practicality is, is more important than appearance. I remember how much she, um, she complained about having to wear, uh, 
heels at the school dance referring to them as stupid lady stilts <laughs> questioning aloud how does weiss fight in these things you know because combat boots Uh, vaguely, yes. It's been a while since I watched uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and I really do need to get around to watching the first anime for comparison. I do not feel like watching the first Shaman King anime before I finish uh, the Netflix dub of the second one. In fact, I don't think... You know, I'm not sure I'll ever watch all of the uh, first animes dub because four kids. Maybe if I, maybe if I can find it in... Uh, maybe I can find it subbed. But then again, back then it was a work in progress anyway. Oh, come, come on. Jeez. Giant deadly scorpion tails. Lovely. Thanks, brain. How are you feeling, spider? Raw panic crawling up your spine. Scorpion? How'd you get this number? Always asking me these interesting questions. It's not how am I calling you? It's am I calling you? Maybe I'm just the feeling screams of your dying brain. No, but I cure this poison. I'm coming for you, Mac. They need talk from the little bug. Have fun chasing pink elephants. There's the research station. We need that atropine. I have to get into the station. Atropine's right there. Here we go. Another one. Here we go. Well, not again. Uh, of course. Oh, yeah. I, I can absolutely see that. You're, You're too, too late. late. Just as you were too late to help me. This isn't you, Doc. Oh, but it is me. The me polite society. The parts of myself I suppress. You help me break those chains. I'm sorry. I'll find a way to help you. I swear. Stop deluding yourself. You never help any. The poison isn't any. You are the poison. Everyone you touch suffers. Stop running from me! Let me try! I want nothing from you! Oh shit. Damn it. Shit. I'm sorry. I'll find a way to help you. I swear it. You never help anyone. You are the poison. Everyone you touch suffers. Stop running from me. Let me try. I want nothing from you.
Oh, all right. Let's... You're a fail at life, love, career. You bring nothing but pain. No, stop. I'm not giving up on you. Please, just talk to me. I can help you. So you can treat me like all the rest. Containing me, suffocating Jeez. me. No, I will let my genius shine on its own. Damn. Holy shit. Yeah, do it. I'm what? sorry. I'm sorry. Getting disturbing? It's been disturbing this whole time. Again, this is just his own insecurities where Doc is concerned. Uh, pretty much rebounding in an echo chamber. Back to that pitiful lab. Toss tennis balls with my incompetent assistant. No! Now is my time for greatness. You'll not hold me back again. Stay away, Parker! I won't be sabotaged by you again. Essentially, his... his... conscience is self-destructing as his consciousness breaks down. Oh, absolutely. Considering uh, all of the uh, and considering all the inhumane shit that uh, that her father put uh, the SDC's workers through, not to mention uh, uh, not to mention well, well, if we're pulling from between uh, between volumes two and three, this would be before they find out. All the dirt on Ironwood, so... There it is. The atrophy! Jeez. <laughs> Controller's rumbling like hell. Jeez. Oh, 
count on it. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Shit. Um, well, I still haven't, uh, I haven't played enough through the Arkham games, but what I have seen kind of pales in comparison, but again, I haven't seen much of it, but what I have seen at this, a whole lot of self gip, uh, self guilt tripping, like, holy shit. But I'm running out of time. I need to mix the antidote. Oh yeah, the visuals are getting fucky. Like the actual visual filter is getting all fucky. Finally. <gasps> oh come on. Focus. Shit. You're just like us, trying to steal my genius. Everything that happens now is your fault. I knew you were laughing at me. All of you, behind my back. You begged me for salvation. But it... Thought I forgot about you. Scorpion, are you even real? Hold still, I'll show you. Give me an opening. Try to nail him when he stopped. Another hallucination. At least he had an imaginary glass jaw. Mm. Shit. Not gonna be that easy. Sure it is. Now I know you're the poison trying to distract me. Bring it on. You're a loser. All you'll ever be is a loser. I can't let him get to me. Stop when you got it. That's fucked up. Jeez. Oh, that's the last of them. I can barely stand up. There's the centrifuge I need. Finally. I'm running out of time. I can feel it. Oh jeez. Oh no. I think I took decontamination a little too far. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'd better put some clothes on. Much better. Let's just jeez. go ahead and forget that ever happened. Huh. Jeez. Oh, fun fact. Um somebody actually took a look at Oh, it's not there. Somebody actually, uh, because that's actually an unlockable costume, by the way. 
and somebody actually took a real close look at the chest. So uh, he's going to make a comment in a little bit to that effect. Also, wow. Now we get to see the damage. Know. And now he might be the most dangerous. Shit. Hmm. Oh, hey. Doc kept pushing ahead with the neural interface. Okay. Target value is six. That's not good. Yeah, no shit. The reason why is because, quite frankly, Square got greedy. Yeah. Oh, um, an interesting fact, by the way. The, uh, the Miss Marvel, uh, Disney Plus show actually caused a bit of controversy, uh, before, uh, before launch because, well, the way that the trailers portrayed her powers implied that it was magical in nature. Problem is that the character problem is that the character being a Muslim actually puts that in direct conflict puts that na that nature in direct conflict with her faith because well it's uh, because it's one of those religions that considers uh, the use of magic to be a sin. Oh, I, I did. Okay, yeah. I will say this much, though. Uh, Young Justice, like the, I think the most recent season, actually took a rather interesting angle with that. I might have mentioned that as well. In essentially portraying it as a gift. And thus, you know, the responsible thing would be to actually make use of it. So, you know. Also, geez, come on. This is... Starting to get tedious. Hmm. Yeah, no shit. They came so close with Mr. Fantastic. But then... <laughs> but then again, Reed Richards is also 
the massive dick wide, so you know. <laughs> Okay, this is a freaking problem. I'm gonna be at this one for a while. Yeah, because the thing is that um, if memory serves, Kamala Khan is an inhuman, which is sort of like a mutant, but somehow different. So, hmm. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. That makes sense. There we go. Although, to be fair, that's a different universe's version of Mr. Fantastic, so... Dangerous and untested. Uh, spoilers! Spoilers for Multiverse of Madness, by the way. <laughs> he remapped the spatial sensor right. the targeting system. Right, which... Which, by that metric, that would mean that technically Spider-Man would qualify... Okay, this is where it gets tricky. Okay, that's that's built right in. Okay, hmm. which means I have to pick and choose. There we go. Yeah, I can see that. Especially depending on their uh, their base shapes musculature. You know, like if if we're talking, you know, the statistical uh, uh, build. Like, if we're talking the statistical average build, and again, we're talking, uh, just so we're clear, again, the diplomatic language, we're talking the average. So, like, if, if you've got a, a male character that's scrawny, yeah, the elasticity is a good fit. Uh, if you've got a female character that's a little on the bulky side, you know, like, clearly she lifts, elasticity might not be a good fit for her. So it 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 actually so then it has less to do with you know sex or gender and more to do with just general body type. Doc turned the arms into weapons without me even noticing. Oof. Uh, that's rough, dude. Like when I was in high school, I was a twig. <laughs> so uh It. Damn. Okay, what about the other arm? It won't let me test the other arm. Of course not. Jeez. Damn. But yeah, like... One of these days, I've got to get around to playing and streaming uh, Guardians of the Galaxy while it's still on PS Plus. Oh, actually, uh, when you've got time, look up Daniel Browning Smith. Like, uh, dude's actually got a genetic condition that is responsible for his... Uh, for his uh, flexibility. Like, we're talking on the level of can fit himself into a box. <laughs> Flexible. In fact, he actually served as the host for a show that was sponsored by Stanley. Rest in peace. It was called Stanley's Superhumans. And, yeah, he uh, basically, Smith would. Uh, uh, 
uh, would be shipped all over the world. Not literally shipped. I mean, again, cont- contortionist. So, <laughs> but no, like he'd he'd travel the world investigating reports of individuals with with abilities beyond the human norm. For example, there was a guy that is strong enough to rip a phone book in half and can also bend a wrench. Bear in mind that the overall design of a wrench uh, is intended... Like, like your typical spanner is designed not to bend. You have to push it to an absurd limit. And this guy could do it with his bare hands. You also have another guy... uh, Rajmohan Nadir, I think his name was, a.k.a. uh, Current Mohan. And the worst that he would get when uh, when, uh, encountering a powerful electrical current, and current is actually what kills you, it'd make his eyes glaze over for for a moment. So, like, basically people with genetic oddities that made them slightly different. It's pretty it's pretty wild. Okay, that's already done. Just pretty wild stuff. Again, still still essentially human, just a little bit extra. And like I said, the, the show was called Stanley's Superhumans. So But yeah, like uh, like I get I get what you mean. Uh again, when we're factoring in the average build for either sex, yeah, it makes sense that the statistics would uh, lean a, a particular way. Oh, absolutely. And I'm and let's be honest, that's probably not the only interest that she's ever sparked. <laughs> Jeez. Funny. I mean, I mean, there's a reason the term Pixar Mom exists. But the last of us poison out of my system before I tackle the other villains. Good time to go on patrol. All right, let's see side quests. A matter of debate. Okay, yeah. See any other side quests around? Nope, just that one. Oh, and there's another pigeon up there. On that note, hmm. I wonder if there's any particular meaning to that number. Three two seven. This is Naval Control. Need a report of the situation north of Houston. Roger Control. This is APC Foxtrot. Matter of debate. Spider-Man. I've got a lot more missing students. The debate club never showed for a meet today. All vanished at once. A coordinated attack. Things are escalating. What's their last known location? The club president, Harold, showed up in a tourist photo screen. <clears throat> the Brooklyn Bridge is definitely in this photo. That's huh. southeast of the university. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned, somebody actually uh, did up a... I can head to the eastern shoreline and go south from there. Somebody actually uh, did up a map... Southeast, okay. Somebody actually did up a uh, overlay of a map of uh, That's you know, definitely the Brooklyn Bridge in the background. Of New York City, like all uh, like all of the various island uh, islands that make it up, to sh- and showing uh, which superheroes are located where. So you know, like you know, Spider Man and several other Avengers. In Manhattan, you know, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, because they do go across various different, uh, different franchises and series and whatnot. And uh, that's actually a good question. I'd say probably a seven or an eight. 
maybe a low nine. Oh boy. Hey Ravu, how you doing? You doing alright tonight? Uh oh. Shit, Sable. Damn it. There we go. Oh no. Ah, crap. Oh crap, crap, crap. Come on. Come. Dang it. Come on. That tanker can't take much more. Gotta keep him away from the truck. Come on. Got him. Whew. In case you were confused. Flammable mean the same thing. Huh. Neat little linguistic fact. I knew what I was doing was wrong. Couldn't stop myself. Sounds like a typical college student. We'll be alright now. Ha! Okay. I need to get after Scorpion, but I haven't seen that mate face to face since the fire. I think I can afford a quick pit stop at least. Okay then. Whoop. But yeah. Um, dogs were frustrating me earlier. Because, well, you know, the pup, the pup wanted out for attention, but she was barking like she wanted out to potty, so. And this was just before stream. Like, I actually had to delay it by five, ten minutes because of it. MJ, hey, you mind if I toss a kind of thorny ethical question at you? When is it okay to give up on a friend? Oh, wow, Pete. Thinking of auto? That obvious, huh? Yeah, understandable, though. Man, the high-minded, generous part of me was to say, never. Being a true friend means being there, even when people lose their way. But with what Otto's done, I just don't know, Pete. I guess you have to decide if the Otto Octavius you knew was still in there or not. Maybe if he was ever even in there at all. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Oh, Thanks, you got to be I gotta process some stuff, I think. Call me anytime, Pete. Okay, okay. you know what? This guy's pissing me off. Take out this fucking... Jerk ass sniper. Really? You There we go. All good. Oh, it looks like it's doing that again. Oh, hey! New follower! Uh, thank you, Roll King Nivax. That puts me at 58 out of 50. Or, sorry, 48 out of 50. 
Nice. Just two more. <laughs> two more. And then I just need to get a three viewer average. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter. It is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up? Good, but busy. Oh, oh let me go. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there. <laughs> oh, no. I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? Ha! <laughs> you and that. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little run now. Where's Miles? Can he help out? Oh, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Yeesh. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded carpet pride. <laughs> You and me. Ah, crap. This mission. Uh. Shit. Damn it. Ah, uh, crap. Of course. Got a few seconds. That's Oh nuts. Shit. Shit. Broken glass. Ah, oh, damn, I'm dead. I'm dead. Better hurry. Yep, I'm dead. Or not. Okay. Got a little lucky, I guess. Hmm. Medical containers in that tent. Maybe this will be easy. Broken glass everywhere. Ugh. But yeah, uh, but yeah, Builder, I would say that it wouldn't fit Ruby herself particularly well. I think Blake would be a better fit. Like, Ruby's got uh, the whole mobility thing going. Flexibility is more Blake's thing. And as for Weiss, uh, something that still gives her ranged options. Hmm. Uh oh. Hmm. Oh shit, motherfucker! Not good. Oh, not good. That's ah, oh, son of a. Ah. Uh. Fuck me. 
me. More supplies over there. Need to get past these guys. Shit. Shit. Damn it, one of them was behind me. Shit. Aww. There's supplies over there. You need Damn. to pass these guys. Is it doing that thing again? Poor Miles. No. Oh no. Oh, nuts. Don't think you saw me. Tell me to get here. Shit. Uh oh. Shit. What is here? Come out. I am the time for this. That's all. We are having fun with lights now. I will have fun with your face. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Oh, no.
Jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, I hate this part. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. There we go. Welcome back, Builder. Okay. Yup. Yeesh. Ugh. Almost. Oh, come on. So close. So close. Oh, nuts. Oh, no. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, boy. Ugh. Too close. Soon. Remember what? Is, remember what he taught you. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? <laughs> Kids got guts. Hip square. The hell's he saying? Can't be saying anything. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> you want a taste? No, I'm good, kid. <laughs> yes. Nice. What a taste. Kind of work on my fight better. Miles? Hey, I've been trying to reach you. Are you okay? Hey, so uh don't freak out, but um <laughs> yeah, no shit. Woo. Uh. Ah, jitter. Oh yeah, in one of the comics. Uh again, it's one of those depending on the writer because in some other runs, he's in a relationship with uh, Gwen Stacy. Specifically, the uh, the Spider Gwen version. Because, well, her identity was exposed in her home universe, and his home universe is just gone now. So they both basically made their way permanently to Earth-616, the main Marvel Universe. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Um, Thanks, no. Miles. No, it does not. But, it's looking like the upcoming, uh, uh, the uh, upcoming Wolverine game being worked on by Insomniac might take place in this universe. 
Um, so for convenience, so for the sake of convenience, the actual number for this universe is Earth 1048. I don't know what the designation for uh, Avengers or uh, uh, Guardians, uh, the Avengers or Guardians of the Galaxy games are, or that Iron Man VR game for that matter. I just know that this this one has its own. Which kind of begs the question if there's a designation for the one from uh, uh, Marvel's Midnight Suns. Right. It's uh, I believe it's a different version entirely. So. Like, in fact, the, uh, uh, the fact is that, uh, the Spider-Man DLC for the Avengers game is a PlayStation exclusive, which, oh, by the way, is complete horse shit. And I am saying that while broadcasting something from my PlayStation. Because I do not care for platform-specific DLC. At all. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's well, well, unless, of course, the DLC in question has uh, licensed characters. So, for example, like Shovel Knight had a thing where in the PlayStation version you could fight Kratos, but... That's because the character is owned by Sony. And as I understand it, Sony only owns the rights to Spider-Man as it pertains to uh, film. Like, they, they own the movie rights, and that's about it. So... But only on PlayStation, of course. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hang it in there. We'll get through this. Keep it safe. I really hope the DLC you're talking about was ultimately a timed exclusive. But even that's horse shit, especially with the bullshit that Sony's currently pulling. Where they reportedly are blocking... Uh, like, they, like, they're blocking... Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Bloodborne, and, uh, others from ever coming to Xbox. Like, they get PC, they'll get PC hey, versions, okay? but they'll never come to Xbox. Ugh. Hey, this is random, but you remember that trip we took to Staten Island with Harry? To find the best pizza in the city? Yeah. Ten hour odyssey for burnt toast with cold American cheese. How can I forget? Something about all these old Oscorp files made that day pop into my head. Harry was so excited about riding the ferry. It just made me think about how much simpler things were back then. Are you talking about spinneret? Uh also, I don't know if I mentioned, but that version of Spider-Man actually featured in, uh, yeah, Spinneret. That's basically the the one continuity where, uh, you know, Pete and MJ did actually get married and it didn't get undone by some one more day bullshit. But, uh, but also where they end up having a daughter and all three of them are a crime-fighting team with their daughter inheriting Pete's powers and, uh, him giving uh, MJ a special suit that siphons off a little bit of his power so that she can use similar abilities. Obviously, that that uh, gives him a bit of a handicap, but... But, uh, like I was saying, um, the 1048 version of Spider-Man actually features in the Spider-Geddon storyline alongside... Uh, the uh, ultimate version of Miles, uh, Spider UK, uh, Spider Man Noir, yeah, and several others. But uh, so yeah, th this version. Uh, shortly after the end of the City That Never Sleeps DLC, and before Spider Man Miles Morales, this version of Peter 
has dealt with the multiverse. Like, canonically, that version has been involved with the multiverse. And I really, really, really hope that the uh, Spider-Man 2 game coming out this fall, which I hope to be able to play uh, come Christmas time, I really hope that it does actually uh, treat Spider-Geddon as canon. If they don't, that's that's not just a shame. That is a horrible um, poetic injustice. Oh, oh shoot. I guess the work we do means today's kids can have their own stuff. Oh, hey, Vessel. Oh, jeez, you had to make that reference. <laughs> yeah. That reminds me, uh, one of the... Uh, Vessel, uh... Um, I, I, don't, I don't think that that's the one that the upcoming one might uh, will be based off of, but... Especially when you consider that... Uh, into the Spider-Verse, the first movie, was only loosely based off of uh, off of the comic story. Like, very loosely. As in, just dealing with alternate Spider-People. Beyond that, it, it, like, it essentially merged Miles' origin story with, uh, with the premise of the comic crossover. To make an original, to make what was ultimately an original story. Uh, but as for across the Spider Verse, well, anything goes. The fact that they're bringing in Miguel O'Hara, Spider Man twenty ninety nine, oh, and there's uh, reportedly going to be, oh, I'm holding up okay, but there's reportedly going to be a whole lot of uh, uh, various different Spider People from across the multiverse in this one, like. I think it was uh, well into the double digits, which is, well, pardon the pun, amazing. So we could be we could be seeing some really obscure versions. Um, the bombastic bag man. Oh wow. Oh, also, um, so earlier I was talking about Spider Geddon. <laughs> Spider Cop is an actual thing. Like, there is an actual Spider Cop in the multiverse. And when Spidey1048, this one, found out, he was overjoyed. But, uh, regarding, uh, regarding the Spider Verse, uh, miniseries, well, miniseries, like the, 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 regarding the Spider Verse comic, uh, storyline, Um, Otto actually talked Takuya into using uh, Leopardon's sword vigor right off the bat. And Takuya is just like, but it's just so boring, which pretty much just strikes at the heart of why, uh, like, it like, strikes at the heart of the core tokusatsu formula. Because, well, let's be honest, uh, every episode of Power Rangers would just be over in the first, in, uh, like, like, halfway through, if they just said, fuck it, Megazord right away, squish. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, that's, um, that's boring. That is not narratively satisfying. That's a good way to look at it. Uh, oh, I almost had the pigeon. Damn freaking bird. Where'd you go? There you are. God. There we go. Okay. There's one pigeon left. Oh, perfect. Was that in there anyway? Alright. Let's start with that final pigeon, actually. But... But, yeah. But yeah, so I recently realized that... Oh, of course, I, I would imagine... Eh, the cops. 
I think the cops have got that one. Yeah, not a very Spider-Man attitude to have. Oh, the cops can handle this. <laughs> but, uh... But yeah, Builder, I... I must insist... You've got to have a bit where she geeks out over the web shooters. You have got to have her geeking out over the web shooters. Or... Oh, 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 wait, no, you, you I, I just remembered you, uh, you're writing it as more of an, as more of an AU type crossover. Right. Huh. But seriously, uh, personally, I would say, why not both? Like, have, like, have one fic that's an AU and the other that's a straight crossover, you know? So any ideas you can't use in one, you can use in the other. And that is how you... And that is how you have your cake and eat it. <laughs> so... You know, one of these days, I really do need to play Grim Eclipse on uh, stream. I'll get my ass handed to me, but... Oh, by the way, uh, Vessel, I don't know if you uh, noticed, but I now have... Uh, 48 out of the requisite 50 followers to qualify for affiliate. Now, the only... Uh, so what, once, I, once I hit 50, the only remaining metric I need to worry about, besides, you know, not losing followers by somehow pissing any of y'all off, is a three-viewer average. Last... Pigeon! Come on, you little frickin' winged rat! Come on! How close do I need to get- There we go! Gotcha! Huff. Finally. No sweat, Howard. These birds are lucky to have you. I tried. Sandra was always better than me. They're her birds, really. Well, now that she's gone, they're yours. Feels like a part of her lives on that way, you know? I definitely know. You're a good man, Howard. Any time you want to stop by and see the family, <laughs> feel free. Dan says he misses you. Aww. Thanks again, Spider-Man. Aww. Speaking of family, uh, apparently this one storyline had, uh, had, sp had Parker working, had Parker working with, uh, Doctor Strange, and uh, when it was over, basically, Strange was able to, uh, work a little bit of magic to give uh, Pete, to finally give him a chance to say goodbye to Uncle Ben. I would not be surprised if it's the same voice actress built or voice actor builder. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same if it's the same guy. I mean, you got to realize that a lot of these folks do a lot of work, so I think it ultimately it'll probably come down to you know union stuff and whatnot because some some uh, stuff can't use non-union actors. But, uh, but like I was saying, basically, Pete was able to finally, like, he was able to say goodbye to Uncle Ben. And to say that Ben is proud of the man and the hero that Pete has become is an understatement. So, just powerful stuff, really.
But anyway. Whoop. Whoop. Ah, shit. Rhino. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, good save. Hmm. Honestly, I don't think that those two sets can be reconciled easily. So, huh. Again, given, given her... Uh, okay, so... Given her affinity for uh, tinkering, I would absolutely say Spider-Man is the is the better is the better pick, because you wouldn't just have web shooters; you'd have all of the gadgets, all of them, within a very short time. Because again, we know that she likes to to tinker with weapons. We know that she, anyway, yeah, which is kind of weird. So. Uh, Huh. Maybe have it so that she can't figure out the standard spinnerette mechanism and has to rely on, you know, the uh, the elasticity to compensate. But personally, I'd say just give that power set to Blake. Especially since she could she could quite easily use that to she could use that for dodging like depending on how far you could push that ability um i forget does uh it does miss marvel's power set allow her to um part her body around certain things and then reform or is it just standard elasticity Like, there's the big question. Because that would determine how uh, how that would work with, you know, Blake dodging. Pick on someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size. <laughs> or maybe you could just talk it out. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Rhino, nope. Yeah, that don't work. Oh, I'm okay. Whoa. Nope. So what's the end for these particular means? Freedom. <laughs> freedom. No more stupid. No more final. Oh, so a degree of sh <gasps> Oh, that's perfect. No, that is perfect for Blake because she could easily use that for again, you got to remember that Blake's core skill set is uh, is espionage and you know just espionage, subterfuge, and sabotage. So that's actually a really good uh, that's actually a really good fit for her. Nice try. Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Of course. Woo! Too close. Oh, hey! Low key camera abuse. That hurt. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, I'm okay. Oh, crap. Ow. 
Ow, he hit me. Boom. Ah, I'm okay. Damn. Nope. Oh, I'm okay. Damn it. Wrong target. Nice try. Ugh. Come on, big guy. Come on. Here goes. Oh, come on. Boom. Rhino's getting his super move. What did Octavius promise you to come in? Oh, jeez. That... Freaking lunch. Oh, punk. Ow. Oh, hey, he's done. Good. Fucked up. Nope. That. Uh, I fucked up. Not good. Oh, yeah, and let's be honest. I would say whatever you think is the reasonable limit, whatever you think is uh, the likely length of uh, Gamble Shroud's ribbon should probably be about the limit. You know, like trying to make it a close match. Like, it doesn't have to be a perfect match, but it just needs to be close. <laughs> nice. All right, Yuri, it's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti serum. Of course, they are. Dollar signs in the seller's market. Oh. I expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. <laughs> Leave Devil's breath to me. All my best people is on it. Jeez. Man, if they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. Of course. Find the lab location and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Oh boy.
Oh boy. Wow, that is just the perfect time for them to pull that. Like, does, does anybody else see the uh, the irony in then throwing that fucking grenade at that exact moment? That exact second? Fuckers. <laughs> Yeesh. Anyway, I probably got enough time tonight for one more or for this last story mission. And then and then it's time to raid. Actually, no, it's uh it's getting close to that it's getting close to that time already. So, nah. I only have enough time to get over to that over to the mission. So, looks like club users on, so Attention unit. Fugitives are raiding an emergency supply. Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Manual save here. All right, everybody. Time to raid. So, raid channel. A little bit. Yuzu. And he is playing Yakuza 3 Remastered. So, Friday will be more Sonic Frontiers. Hopefully I can... Uh, hopefully I can keep my cool long enough to finish Chaos Island. Not likely. I hate that island. But until then, this is the Wilhelm Starton signing off and rating. Please hold.